Hi, my name is Ed Walsh, and I'm here to uh, give you a brief system overview of our 47 Gulfstar Sailmaster Ohana. This uh, video is really to give you just a little bit of information regarding the outfit that we did on our boat and the retrofit that we did on our boat and some of the systems that we've integrated and included uh, uh, into our uh, refit of this boat. Our boat is being um, sold uh, only for the simple reason that uh, a medical condition in the family has required us to do so. Uh, our boat was uh, a five-year plan to refit the boat. Um, this last November, we were planning on um, setting off for a world cruise, and as a result of that uh, um, medical situation, we're going to be forced to sell the boat. Um, it was our dream boat. We spent literally hundreds of thousands of dollars <laughs> retrofitting this boat, but we're getting it ready to go, and uh, our loss is gonna be somebody else's gain. But uh, I wanted to spend a little bit of time today just kind of going over some of the systems on the boat that you may see on paper, but not really understand how they benefit you as, a, uh, as an owner on a boat. Um, first of all, I'd like to say that uh, all the electrical equipment and uh, navigation equipment on this boat has been completely refitted. Um, and uh, it's, it's got a whole bunch of new, neat components on it that I think uh, will really be beneficial to any future owner. We set this boat up to be uh, much like our home, uh, and that's how it feels when you're on this boat. Um, our boat is fitted with a Masterbolt system, uh, which allows us to uh, you know, run electrical appliances like computers and microwaves and things like that, uh, just like you would in your home. Um, and I'm gonna go through some of those systems with you. Uh, this boat has a Masterbolt 2500 watt uh, mass combi uh, inverter system and it's an inverter charger um, that allows us when we're at the dock we have a 50 amp service which uh, has two uh, 30 amp short power cords which can be plugged in you can use either one 30 amp cord for primarily running the boat or you can use the secondary 30 amp cord which allows you to uh, power the air conditioning and some additional systems on the boat uh, that you wouldn't get through just the main inverter system uh, the inverter uh, system on this boat is uh, runs with uh, 1,200 amp hours of Lifeline batteries. They're AGMs. Um, the system also has a, uh, a Master Volt uh, charger, Charge Master 50 amp charger, uh, which you can use with the shore power system. And also when the generator is running, it also allows you to use that system to recharge the batteries, uh, both the house and the engine batteries. Uh, our boat is also, we've installed a bow thruster it's a 24 volt bow thruster and that bow thruster uh, has two batteries that are located under the four peak bed system and uh, those can also be charged with our engine generator alternator running uh, it's a got a dc to dc uh, converter on it that goes 12 to 24 and it also can charge that uh, thruster battery while we're underway with the engine running um, it also can be charged through the uh, generator uh, as well when that's running as well our generator on this boat is a Northern Lights 6KW. Uh, it has 50 hours on it, so it's basically a brand new generator. Um, we spent a lot of time working on it to get it into a um, real quiet mode for anchorages because we didn't want to be that boat. Um, our exhaust system on here, it's got an aqua lift as well as a uh, air gas separator. So there's just a slight stream of water that trickles out of the side of the boat. Uh, and when you're outside, and we'll demonstrate that for you, uh, how really quiet it is and uh, makes the boat uh, really uh, able to run the generator in an anchorage and not offend or bother anybody. Um, it also powers the water maker system on the boat. Uh, we've got a Village Marine water maker system. It's the uh, NF450. It's a modular system that is uh, set up with various places throughout the boat in the engine compartment to access the filters and the, um, the main membrane, and that's all uh, mounted below in the engine room. Um, three places on this boat uh, give you access to uh, all the components that if you ever needed to work on or to replace any of the items on this boat, that could easily be done uh, by just going to three different places on the boat. Uh, the engine room contains our uh, 1200 amp hours of batteries. It also contains the uh, generator and it contains the basic uh, electrical shunt system that has to power the, um, uh, the master volt system. Uh, the master volt has a uh, easy uh, display on it, 
which can control all components electrically on the boat. Uh, you can control the inverter, uh, the solar system, as well as the uh, generator. Everything can be controlled and uh, voltages and uh, amp hours can be regulated through that system and that's located in the nav station in the salon. Our engine room is directly below the salon so uh, within you know literally one area you've got most of the controls for this entire system. Uh, the uh, uh, Mac system, which is the DC to DC charger, is located with the batteries under the four peak. And in the aft stateroom, uh, that is where the uh, B and G system is located on our boat uh, for the computer brains that have that powers the autopilot system. On our B and G system on the boat, we have a Zeus 3 12 inch touchscreen display. It's on a pod up in the cockpit. Uh, we also have two Triton 2 uh, displays up there for wind speed, depth. Uh, and other uh, sailing navigation features up there, but it's all located on the pod in the cockpit. One of the unique features that we did is we added a second autopilot uh, computer brain, basically for the system. It's the B&G NAC3, and we put two of those on the boat. And the reason being is if we ever were to have a lightning strike and uh, we were to have lost uh, the electrical systems on the boat, the second autopilot computer is not connected to any wiring in the boat. Uh, there is a harness that comes off that little computer, and if you were to lose that, all you have to do is connect, disconnect the primary uh, NAC computer, and then connect it to the secondary NAC computer, and uh, it will be functioning um, even if you were to take a lightning strike and it was to kill all the stuff on the boat. You would have an independent autopilot that you could still work to use in heading mode to get you to where you needed to go. Uh, our boat is, uh, the B&G system is also used with the Link system, which allows you to use a tablet, an iPad, an iPhone, anywhere on the boat to see exactly what's on the chart plotter up in the cockpit. Um, we keep one down here on the nav station, and it allows us to be able to see um, what's on the chart plotter uh, when you happen to be down below. Um, also, in the aft stateroom, we have uh, put in there a, a Pep Wave Max BR1 MK2 uh, CAT6 LTE uh, modem router. And it's a CIDR Wi-Fi booster um, that allows us to, if you're anywhere in the world, you can get a data card from the local cell tel provider. Uh, you take that data card, you plug it into the uh, uh, PepWave router, and you will have Wi-Fi on your boat through the CIDR network. Um, and you use the data card to do that, and you pay for your data as you go. But uh, you can use it with any data card anywhere in the world. Uh, this will allow you to have uh, internet access anywhere on your boat. Um, also in the aft stateroom is where we've located our Iridium Go. So that will allow you to link um, to the satellite network via an antenna that's on the um, aft davit. It will also allow you to uh, bring up programs like Predict Wind uh, or iNavi, uh, any of those programs if you want to be able to see weather in real time. You can also use that um, system, the Iridium system, with your cellular phone for texting and receiving and sending cell phone calls. Um, you can also use it for Wi-Fi, but it's a little bit limited. It's not um, as if you were sitting, you know, in your home uh, with a Wi-Fi system, but it does have some limitations on the Wi-Fi side. But for the most part, it's really there for offshore weather and offshore weather routing. Um, it allows us to do that. Uh, our boat is also equipped with a um, uh, sat phone system that includes that uh, as part of the Iridium Go system. We also have a um, SSB radio on board and the VHF equipment that is also linked both in the cockpit and at the navigation uh, station. We have a Pactor modem that can also be used with the um, uh, single sideband, which allows us to also get weather uh, through the modem as well. So there's some redundancy in a backup system there. Uh, the boat itself um, has, had, has been really upgraded to make it almost like a home uh, as far as how you can plug into anywhere on the boat. Uh, we've attached uh, USB uh, connections throughout the entire boat um, in the aft stateroom to allow us to uh, plug in our phones or um, iPads at night, even to set an iPad on and use it as a uh, anchor watch system. Uh, we've also connected those in the salon uh, at the nav station and also behind me here, there's also a plug there um, and uh, plugs in various spots in the four peak as well. So if we have guests on board that they could also use the system to plug into things. We've also connected uh, DC 12 volt cigarette lighters in all of these locations as well. So if you do not want to use the inverter for you know a power drain of some sort, you can just plug a little simple um, 
inverter uh, device into that 12 volt system. You can plug a laptop in there and be able to um, use your laptop or charge your laptop uh, using those systems. Uh, the solar system on this boat, we have incorporated a uh, two sun power, uh, 225 watt solar panels uh, on the back of the boat. So it gives us about 450 watts of solar. We also have a um, D400 wind generator on the back of the boat that's on a very beefy uh, mass setup that you'll be able to see in the pictures about the boat uh, that uh, is ultra quiet. Uh, we went to great detail and length to uh, get that set up so that it was a sound absorbing uh, uh, post or, or a beam that holds that uh, wind generator. And as a result of that, it will uh, not transfer any of that uh, spinning or whining noise of the wind generator down into the uh, aft stateroom. Uh, which is the primary bunk in this uh, on this boat. Uh, the boat itself has had a complete plumbing refit as well. We use uh, PEX um, tubing uh, throughout the entire boat. Also, all the plumbing's been redone. Uh, all the uh, sewer lines and all the sewer hoses have all been uh, done. Our boat has the ability to uh, put the sewage waste into a 45-gallon gal holding tank, which is located under the galley um, floor. We also have the ability to pump overboard and pump out of that tank overboard uh, when offshore. Um, the heads can also be diverted directly offshore, uh, directly uh, off the boat offshore um, as necessary by simply turning a valve. Uh, we've also added on this boat uh, two independent uh, water system pumps on this boat. So in the event that you were to lose your water pressure pump on the boat, all you have to do is flip a switch and turn a valve and you're back in business with water again. Uh, we've included a uh, manifold valve so that if there's a leak on any of the lines in the boat system, all you have to do is flip that valve on the manifold and that will allow you to um, service or work on the component, just the component you need to work on. It still provides uh, water for the rest of the boat. I think that's pretty much it. It's a quick summary of some of the neat systems on the boat. Uh, we'll give you detailed images and shots of all the stuff that's on the boat for you to look at. And uh, hopefully this will help to answer any of the questions that you might have had about uh, some of the systems that we've retrofitted on this boat.